Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we have a double fashion review. So I was going to do these as separate reviews but considering that they're both part of the same line of fashions I thought I'd just do them together. So we actually have two twice as nice reversible fashions. So on the back of the card we just have all of the fashions from this line pictured. So today we have this one here and this one here. So that is number 7950 and 7955. So this one's actually my favourite out of the two. I really love the like black and white skirt which kind of comes across as a grey. Um, it's very very 80s extremely 80s. My only problem with it is that the belt has these weird silver spots. I'm going to pop this one on the beautiful Beauty Secrets Christy and then the other one, this one here, that will be going on Peaches and Cream Barbie. So let's start with my favourite one. So it's just the card, you just pull, take the front off. The fashion is held on with um, glue. So because the jumper is like a very fluffy kind of fabric, it actually pulled some of the fluff off. It doesn't look to have made much of a difference though. So this skirt has the black and white striped side and then a painted white side which I was expecting to be a lot um, more sticky and peeling. It was stuck together but now it's, it feels quite okay. And here's the jumper. So it closes, the belt closes with a metal snap. And it looks like it might actually be reversible. You can make it silver. And it has this little kind of um, pouch attached to it, which doesn't actually work. It's just for looks. And then the jumper doesn't actually close. So it would just be slipped on um, the doll. So here it is on Christy. Uh, the sweater is massive. It's gigantic. Um, with this like um, fluffy material I feel like if you handled it too much it would become matted. The skirt is not hemmed in any way shape or form and it's actually starting to fray and it doesn't look as fitted in person as it does in the picture. The skirt actually has like a flocked um, band on top. Oh, it looks awful. And it seals in the back with Velcro. There we have the white on top. They actually have pictured the grey on top. And it doesn't seal up the comp like complete length. So you just need to make sure that kind of you pull it. You might be able to stick it with tape or something. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. So if you kind of adjust it a bit, you can use the silver side. If you wanted to, it will just require a bit more styling. So yeah, that is that fashion there. And it comes with little white pumps. And the next fashion uh, has a green, sort of like a teal green jumpsuit and it has green satin ribbon straps. Well, not so much satin, but a little bit. And I've seen this outfit uh, with uh, white straps as well. Uh, it doesn't hook up or anything. It's just a really stretchy fabric and I've just noticed that there's a big hole in the crotch where the seam has come apart. I can probably fix that. And then the jumper is quite gross looking actually. So 
And it's just this really like fuzzy like fabric which hooks up with Velcro and then on the inside it's painted fabric again and it's stuck but it doesn't look to be peeling at all it's just going to be a massive pain to turn the sleeves inside out but I will do that just to demonstrate but first let's get her dressed up with the yellow side showing first so here she is completely dressed so she also comes with yellow pumps and this really cool like yellow trimmed silver hairband which my peaches and cream desperately needed because her hair constantly falls into her face one thing I've noticed um, with these two fashions is that the quality is really low and obviously with that um, painted fabric there's always like that's a recipe for disaster but like even fitting up the jumper over her bum it, it doesn't fit properly so like there's a lot of doubling over with these outfits the fabrics are a bit eh, and therefore the quality is low but the styles are really cool like I love the designs um, one thing to keep in mind with this outfit, if you're wearing it this way, um, putting the hands, um, you know, with all the fingers and the jewelry and stuff through the sleeves, I'm worried that over time it will rip through that grey painted surface, um, especially considering that it's already starting to split, so... Let's turn it around and have a look at what it looks like. So there we have it. There is the silver side. But just turning the sleeves inside out started to make the um, paint split and peel. So especially at this unhemmed edge there on the arms. There's a close up of one of the arms for you. So it's not the greatest quality. The yellow underneath does not match the yellow um, stripe on the arms either. Hmm. So overall, it's a great idea. I love the design. The execution leaves much to be desired. Um, but at the end of the day, these didn't cost me too much. So... Um, <sighs> If I paid like a fair amount for them, I'd be very disappointed. Um, and knowing that they're this kind of quality, which I was expecting a little bit, but if I knew for sure that this is what they were going to be like, then I probably wouldn't have gotten them. Um, but yeah, nevertheless, they are cute and they will be good for like photographs and display. So, I hope you enjoyed this review and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.